So go for it. All right, this is my Makey Makey controller using Play-Doh. And the, oh, how it yeah, works is I have these nice. alligator clips attached uh, from this um, Makey Makey piece and to the Play-Doh. And what is each alligator clip going to on the Makey Makey? Like, what did those? What does so, it mean? Where they're going? Like, it will show you like uh, all the arrows. Okay. And also space and click if you, right. that's what you want. Okay. And this alligator clip connects to this earth section. Uh huh. And as long as I'm holding this uh, alligator clip connected to the earth, uh huh, I can use any of these controls in the game. So. This is just like an example. We have up, down, left, and right, and then space. Nice. Looks like it's working pretty well. Yeah. Now, interesting question, but um, does it, do the controls seem intuitive, meaning do you feel just as comfortable playing on it with the Play-Doh controls as you would on a keyboard? Well, it feels much nicer. Like, oh, it does? I mean, it's much more comfortable. Uh-huh. But one problem that might be able to be fixed later on would be, like, uh, they're not very separated, I guess. Okay. So if my finger is on this, it might hit another. And okay. Meanwhile, if you're using keys, you can just press on it. Uh-huh. So it... So that's a really good point because what you're talking about there is the fact that as you iterate on your design, you can make it, you know, better so that it actually creates a better user experience, yes, right? Exactly. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that. I have no clue.